Hello everybody and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got a simple mixed operations problem here again. Um, this one is 6 plus 6 plus 6 times 0 equals what? Um, now this is fairly easy for some people, um, so you may know the answer already. Um, but uh, for those that want to try to work it out, we can pause the video, uh, come back, and then we'll discuss it together. All right, hopefully the people that are still remaining maybe have some questions um, on exactly how this works. Um, but if you remember your order of operations, um, basically it's taught in elementary school uh, in North America, uh, I believe primary school in the UK. I'm not exactly sure what, what grade levels, but um, this is the kind of math that's usually taught to about 10 year olds. Um, and uh, so um, some people may not be familiar with it or may not have used it for a long time. Uh, if you're just simply familiar with adding, subtracting, uh, and not mixing operations, uh, it might have tripped you up um, because a lot of people maybe don't work with this a lot. Um, but uh, regardless of that, multiplication has precedence um, over addition. So uh, even though you have the uh, even though you have multiplication here at the end, six times zero is solved first. Uh, six times zero is zero. Um, 12 plus 0 is 12. Uh, so the correct answer to the problem is 12. Uh, now all you have to do here is follow the order of operations. Multiplication has precedence over addition. So if you understand the answer is 12, you know, you can pause the video here. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> the reason this video is going to be longer uh, than 30 seconds is really for the people who are struggling uh, here with the answer and getting it wrong. And, and I will say there's a lot of people that are getting this wrong. A lot of people are saying the answer is zero to this problem. It's a, it's a very common wrong answer. Uh, they're gonna say, well, you add six plus six plus six, and that's 18, 18 times zero is zero, but that's wrong. So I, I understand the people who got 12, you go ahead and stop the video, move on, do something else, swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, swipe down, whatever you do. Uh, but for everybody else, I wanna go through and discuss it. Um, <clears throat> and what I wanna say, uh, to a lot of the people who still think it's zero and they're shaking their head, um, please look at the links that I have in the videos. I have links to videos in the notes, in the description of this video. I have a number of links um, with a lot more detail uh, on the order of operations, a lot more detail on all these crazy acronyms like PEMDAS and BODMAS and BEDMAS and BIDMAS, all that stuff. So if you're getting zero and you really think it's zero, please go watch some of that. Um, I don't necessarily want to go through and repeat all of that uh, in every video I do, um, but uh, you know, based on a lot of the comments I get, I get comments from people who make the same mistakes over and over and over. Um, like I said, if you understand it's 12, just go ahead and move on. Um, the, the rest of this is for those who keep making the same bad arguments uh, for a wrong answer. Uh, and I will say there's a, there's a lot of misunderstandings about the order of operations. A lot of people have the wrong idea about it. Um, there are some some bad arguments here that um, that I want to talk about. Probably one of the biggest ones that I get is that uh, well, there's no parentheses or brackets, so the answer is zero. You just you just go left to right. Uh, six plus six plus six is eighteen. Eighteen times zero is zero. Um, and then that's a terrible argument. Multiplication already has precedence over addition. Um, just keep remembering this, keep drilling this in your in your mind, but multiplication is just shorthand uh, for repeated addition. <clears throat> um, if I have uh, six plus six <clears throat> and I'm, I'm and I'm adding six zeros, well, you have six plus six, but six times zero is the same thing as saying zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Plus zero. 6 times 0 is the same thing as adding 6 zeros. Um, so 6 plus 6 plus all these zeros still equals 12. I could add a billion zeros to 6 plus 6, and I'm still going to get the answer of 12. Um, not, not as common of an argument, but I actually have had people say, well, 0 times 6 would be 0, but 6 times 0 is 1. I've, I've heard that argument uh, over and over and over. and 
Wow. I mean, I really didn't realize that, you know, grown adults were having so much trouble with multiplication by zero. Um, but it's really a simple concept. Um, I think people are confusing multiplication with addition somehow. Um, it doesn't matter if it's zero times six or six times zero. It's the same thing. I mean, if you really believe six times zero is six, what do you think six times one is? Six times zero can't be six, and also six times one also be six. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's really a bad argument. I would say anybody that's thinking that, you know, please go back and review multiplication by zero. Go back and understand what the community properties are, things like that. You know, you that's not right. Um, um, you know, you you have different acronyms like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, BIDMAS, there's GEMS out there also. Um, all these really are, represent the same thing. There's no difference. Uh, <clears throat> they're just different acronyms used in different English-speaking countries, but really it still covers the same four steps of the order of operations. And again, I've got the separate videos on that. Um, if you're confused, please go watch those. Um, I'm not going to go through those in a whole lot of detail here. Um, and, you know, be careful with calculators, too. Calculators have different input methods. Uh, there's expression mode. There's immediate execution mode. It has nothing to do with, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people will argue, well, all you got to do is pick up your calculator and see that the answer is 12. But depending on what kind of calculator a person has and depending on whether that person understands how to use their calculator, they could end up with the wrong answer because they don't know how to use it. Um, different calculators have different input methods. There's immediate execution mode, which is going to probably give you an answer here of zero. It's going to it's going to add six plus six and give you twelve, and then you're going to type you know you're going to be typing a plus six again, and it's going to show an eighteen on your calculator. And then when you multiply by zero, it's going to take eighteen times zero. All that's meaning is that that type of calculator requires that you either use, you don't have to use memory functions or you just manually do the multiplication first. If you're using an immediate execution mode cal calculator, and that could be your dollar store calculator that cost you $1.27 or whatever, or it could even be the, in, Win in a Windows computer, you've got um, a scientific mode calculator. But but the default calculator on a Windows computer is standard. You'll you'll see there's two different modes: standard, scientific. Um, if you're using standard mode, and Microsoft does a poor job of explaining it, but that's immediate. Ex it uses immediate execution mode, and you'll end up with the wrong answer. You'll end up with like 18 times zero and getting zero. And that's because those calculators are immediately executing every operation. That type of calculator is fine if you're just adding a bunch of numbers, um, but you cannot enter an entire um, expression that has multiple operations and expect to get the correct answer unless unless you're doing the multiplication part of this first. You know, if I rewrote it as six times zero plus six plus six, you would get the right answer of eight of uh, twelve. Sorry, not, I don't know why I was saying eighteen. Uh, but if you wrote it as 6 times 0 plus 6 plus 6 and entered it that way into an immediate execution mode calculator, you'd get the right answer. Um, so, yeah, the, and the calculator argument's a really bad one because some people will say, well, my calculator told me it's 0. Other people will say, it doesn't matter what calculator you use, you're going to get 12. Now, I will say it really doesn't matter what calculator you use. The thing that is important is whether or not you understand how to use it and you understand what kind of calculator you have. If it's an expression mode calculator, you can type it in just as it's written. If it's an immediate execution mode calculator, you're going to have to do the higher operations first or you're going to have to use memory store and recall functions, that type of thing. That, that's all that means. So um, I just wanted to clear that one up for everybody. So anyhow, I hope this video has been helpful. Please, again, I'm going to point out those uh, links. I've been really trying to do a better job in these videos of putting links um, to some of the other videos that I feel have good background information. Um, there's, a, there's a link in there to uh, more discussion about calculators, uh, more about the different acronyms, a lot of the misconceptions about the acronyms, 
um, you know, where to look for stuff on the internet. You know, there's a lot of people will go and do a Google search and they'll find some, you know, blogger in India or somewhere that told them this or that about mathematics. Um, and it's really not a credible source. You know, you, you keep some people really need to take a look at where they're getting their information from because I've had people, you know, it's good to look things up, but then you also have to understand where that information is coming from. Is it coming from the Khan Academy? Is it coming from, you know, a university? Is it coming from a real educator? Or is it just some random blogger, you know, who you don't uh, know? I mean, look, I'm obviously I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, I have an engineering background, but still, you don't know who I am, but it's easy to look this stuff up from credible sources. So um, I have some links to videos about that too. Anyhow, this video has gone on way too long for such a simple problem. That's why I gave the heads up early. So if you thought this was really simple and you stuck around to the end, I, I did warn you, I did warn you early in the video that I was going to go on. But, um, you know, I'm sorry, but there, there's a lot of confusion out there. Um, a lot of incorrect answers, a lot of incorrect beliefs on how this stuff works. Uh, and I'm doing my best to try to clear it up, but it's uh, uh, definitely got a long way to go. Anyhow, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Uh, have a great week and see you all later.